A man is accused of leaving three Molotov cocktails outside a red line station in Hollywood, and we're learning he may have been the one who tipped off the FBI, but why? NBC4 investigative reporter Eric Leonard has some answers. These police photos show the three glass alcohol bottles allegedly filled with flammable liquid left at the Metro Red Line station at Santa Monica and Vermont. Police say they were significant because when they were found last Friday, someone had just called the FBI, then 911 in L.A., and said he had bombs and said they had been left at the subway station. Our investigation determined that Frederick Brown was also the anonymous caller who contacted our 911 center. Security video from the Red Line station and other efforts led detectives and agents to identify Brown, a 50-year-old man they described as homeless who was wanted on a parole violation and who has an extensive criminal history. The LAPD located him in the area of 7th Street in Alvarado on Monday afternoon. He had in his possession two replica handguns. Even though there was no ability to remotely ignite the bottles, police say they were still a danger to the public riding the red line system. What was inside those bottles was clearly enough to emit some type of explosion in that area. Investigators say there is no evidence of a connection to terrorism, and the reasons behind those calls to the FBI and LAPD are still unclear. Brown is expected to make an initial appearance in court tomorrow. I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.